Hey y'all, welcome back to Kelsey's Corner. Today is part two of how to quarantine your new snakes, so let's get right into it. If you haven't seen my first part of the video yet where I talk about how to start the mite preventative treatment for your new snake or reptile, then go check that out. I will link it above. And for now, these guys have been soaking in a soapy water solution for the past four to five days non-scented, obviously, a non-toxic type, just about an inch of water. Obviously, I change out this water every single day. You don't want them sitting in nasty, stagnant, whatever water. So he is actually looking like he's fixing a shed. So. Uh, he didn't have the cloudy eyes yesterday, but today he's got cloudy eyes, so I'm actually going to leave him. I'm going to change out his water, and I'm going to leave him for another day, hopefully not more than two, in this water to help him shed, um, probably just for one day. I will leave him in this water solution for one more day, and then I will transfer him to the quarantine bin after that. She looks totally fine, so I'm just going to go ahead and put her in a quarantine bin, but I'll give him one more day in this to hopefully help that shed cycle along and then I will put him in a regular quarantine bin after that but for today I will show you what I'm going to do with her and then you can just assume that I'm going to do that with him in a day or two after he sheds. So he's probably going to be a little freaked out. You might get to see me get bit again on camera, who knows. Because um, they can't see really good when they're in shed, that's why their eyes are all cloudy, you know. Makes them not be able to see very good. He's already looking at me like he's gonna bite me so we'll see it's okay he's already kind of skittish as it is oh he's fine he's a little skittish already as it is but he's okay I'm excited to see what he's gonna look like after he sheds here's a couple of pictures I took after he shed so all I did was I just rinsed them out in the tub because all that's been in there is a little bit of soap water and snakes so and these are going to be their quarantine bins so there's no need to do a deep clean or anything like that neither one of them went poop in the water so we're all good there just rinsed them out and then what I'm gonna I went ahead and left them wet because you know you want there to be some humidity in there um, by the way if you haven't seen part one of the video quarantining is super important because you don't want to pass any kind of diseases or mites or parasites or anything like that, any kind of communicable sicknesses to your other snakes if you have other reptiles. Um, so make sure you don't skip this step. I know it's kind of tempting to in the beginning, but it's super important. Um, whenever you pick up your snake, whether it's from a reptile expo, from a local breeder, if you buy it online, it's a little bit more difficult if you buy it online, but make sure that you check the snake over really good. I have a whole video talking about how to choose a breather, how to choose a healthy snake. So I'll link it up here and I'll link it in the description box below. So that way you can avoid a lot of problems that may come in the beginning. You should still quarantine even if your snake or reptile passes all the little check boxes in the beginning, then they look healthy and they sound healthy and all that good stuff. Your breeder knows what they're talking about, but there's still the chance that any small thing that is invisible to the naked eye or ear could go wrong. So always make sure you quarantine. And like I said, I'll link that video up here so you can go check it out. So right now I'm just going to layer both of these with some paper towels. You can also use newspaper, preferably unprinted newspaper, because the printed newspaper can like, if you wet it, it can put the ink on their skin and it's kind of toxic for them. So unprinted newspaper or like butcher paper or paper towels. I just use paper towels because that's what I have. So um, that's going to let you make sure that there's no A mites. B, um, checking their poop, making sure that it's a good color, good consistency, and all that good stuff. All those things are just harder to do if there's actual substrate in there. So, um, in the quarantine procedure, make sure you're checking them every single day. Get them out, um, check them over if, you know, your time and the snake allows you to. <laughs> um, but at the very least, open the bin and look at them. Make sure that they look good. Make sure, like, he's getting ready to shed, so I need to check him every day, make sure if he sheds to make sure I get it out. And if they poop, look at their poop, make sure it's a good color, good consistency. It should be, it should look kind of like a dog poop, but it'll have the white pieces in it, which are the urates. 
so just make sure it's not runny, make sure it's not a weird color. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to layer these bins in the paper towels and then I'm going to put them straight in and they're going to go back over there in the corner of my living room because my other snakes are in my other room in the back. So you want to make sure they're in a separate room from everybody. As an extra precaution, you want to take any chances. So I'm going to do that and then in a couple of weeks when they are out of their quarantine in three to four weeks, I'm going to do a video on a weigh-in of all my snakes. So I weighed them when I got them and I also weighed all my other snakes at that time. And I'm going to do a video of a month's difference of how, what they weighed this month and then what they weighed the next month after feeding them consistently. I don't power feed my animals, but um, I do feed them when they're hungry. So some of them eat every five days, every single week. If they'll eat, I feed them. So, <clears throat> so that's a video that's going to be coming up, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like snakes. Come out with new videos every single week. Like the video, comment if you have any suggestions, anything I missed, let me know. I'll come back and try to add it in if it was something important. So, enough of my talking. I'm just going to get into it. And make sure you put a water bowl in there. I forgot to say that. enjoyed that video on how to quarantine your snake. I decided to let Charlie join in my video here. He's never in any of my videos. I always have a snake out. But as long as he's good and quiet, he can be in a video. We spend a lot of time together eating snacks and breakfast and dinner and just hanging out and he likes to preen my hair and stuff. But I don't spend a whole lot of time training him tricks or anything like that. So I just can't think of a whole lot of content I would put him in. But if you have something specific you want to see with him, I'll try to make it happen. Actually, I will show you all the only trick he knows. You want to go back? That's the only trick he knows. <laughs> He's a fluff ball right now because it's cold. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you love snakes, hit the subscribe button. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a snake weigh-in video. Um, of I weighed them a few weeks ago, and then it'll be a four to six week difference so you can see how quick a baby snake grows, how quick an adult snake grows. So I think that'll be kind of a fun video. So stay tuned for that. If I missed anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm sure I did, but I tried to keep it kind of short and sweet since I already did a part one on that. And as always, thanks for watching my videos and thanks for subscribing. If you're already subscribed, I look forward to being able to interact with y'all more as I come out with more content. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. It's Kelsey's Corner Friends, and I'll see y'all next time.